welcome to my video presentation of the press pack created for the up-and-coming singer-songwriter Emma May. First up, the interview. And finally, if you could be anyone in the world, who would you be? The guy that made me fall is about so I can go back in time and treat me right. No, seriously, I don't know, maybe Stevie Nicks, but like back in the 70s because I want to live in the 70s. The interview was created this way to help Emma showcase her brand and identity in a way she feels comfortable, yet still allows her to connect with her audience, which is a key element of being a DIY artist. This is also a cost-effective way of making a unique video that helps Emma stand out from the buzz of other social media noise. We also took trips to the Immerse Festival where Emma was encouraged to network and also post on Instagram to try and raise her profile within the industry's network. On the 7th of February, our videographer dropped out. This put a strain on the timings of the plan. Each positive element was posted about to try and gain traction, whether that be on my blog and social media or Emma's social media or the social media of the photographer Ella Cakebread. The initial ideas include a single imagery and moving graphic that give the impression of Emma falling to complement what the audience are hearing from the new single Make Me Fall. To create a campaign symbol that creates a story the audience can interact with online and offline. And a 45 second clip that ties all elements of the press pack together. I joined Emma in the studio to get behind the scenes information to build the brand and the story. This was done because the story of behind a brand can have a direct impact on the connection and relationship of the audience. This is why throughout the day stories were posted to build up the audience's relationship. Some engagement came from others' profiles such as 27 profile taps to MMA were direct links from my profile. Even though technical issues were faced, they allowed Emma to show a comedic side to her audience online. This provided photography opportunities, which on Instagram received 69 likes at around a 25% engagement from Emma's followers. The decision of areas to focus on was made by identifying the strengths, opportunities, weaknesses and threats and cross-referencing them to create a key performance indicator or critical success factor. For example, strength four, living with students, and threat four, no strong image, can come together to create the target of make use of friends in creative subjects to establish a unanimous brand. From the Tao's matrix, three critical success factors were created. This is because without clear objectives, managing is haphazard. No individual and no group can expect to perform effectively and efficiently unless there is a clear aim. The first critical success factor is to take advantage of me to develop the artist brand digitally while keeping a 25% follower engagement. Number two is to develop and clarify the story, including the history of MMA, such as being born deaf, and present this in an interview to fans. And number three is to apply for funding to introduce financial support to apply for PRS to begin gaining royalties on releases. The music video. The concept and theory behind making a music video comes from Hoff Ackner's Five Stages of Information Retention and his research that retention of information can be affected by movement such as that from a video. The concept of the video is Emma is watching the story of the song Make Me Fall and is singing along like a narrator as two actors play out the story around her. However, the video has not yet been created, partly because of the weather and the outbreak of the coronavirus, but also because holding back on the music video allows the song to get out there, reaching number one, exposure, and releasing the video a few months later allows us to grab the attention, both of these linking back to Hoff Ackner's five stages of information retention. The photo shoot. Here's a behind the scenes clip of the photo shoot. Feel free to scan the QR code to watch the video without the voiceover. From the video you can see that Emma is wearing the colours of a soft warm palette with the orange pinnacle dress. This scheme is the scheme that was created in the initial ideas. 
sadly, Emma fell ill before the photo shoot, so he had to change and move away from the fallen image, so created a new shot which you will see later on. Also, I'm happy to report that Emma has now fully recovered. This video was made to be posted for fans to create the authentic, transparent brand that has become very popular in modern day media. This is part of the critical success factor one and two. Rule of thirds is one of the most important composition rules in painting and photography. The blurred background and clear foreground brings the onlooker's attention to Emma. Photos from the shoot received an average like of 80 per post, which is an engagement of 28%. Why were they successful? Well, they were successful because they followed a trend that had been done by other similar artists, such as Maisie Peters. She uses a soft toned image with warm colours, therefore inspiration was taken from this successful case study. This specific image is particularly interesting in the rule of thirds, as the middle third, the one the onlooker is drawn towards, contains Emma's face, the symbol of the wings. We have the capacity to represent the world in any way we desire through signs. The theory of semiotics by Ferdinand Saussure uses the study of colours, white meaning purity, black meaning impurity. The wings can be seen in both colours in association with MMA. The colours reflect her music, the positivity of the melodies and the sadness of the lyrics. The shape of the wings is a curved structure which also represents a feminine quality according to Saussure. As Saussure studied, this link between the concept and sound pattern is powerful. The concept being the onlooker's psychological impression, as wings have the connotation of angelic figures, creating the idea to the audience that whatever is linked, like Emma May's music, is perfect and angelic. The initial idea of the animated graphic was to create an image that gives the impression of Emma falling, to create a link between the song and a graphic. Instead, we took influence from Nina Nesbitt, Using the symbol of the wings, it was placed on top of an image just like Nina Nesbitt did with a lotus flower. In the case of Nina Nesbitt and the lotus flower, the lotus flower has connotations of new life and religious links, which complements the album title called The Sun Will Come Up, The Seasons Will Change. This led to it becoming one of Sam Bock's best campaigns of 2018. Make Me Fall artwork. The initial image has a focus point of the blue jeans on a washed out image leading down to the ankle with the wings tattoo. This joins the dots of all elements of the campaign to help hit this critical success factor, a unanimous brand across social media sites. Option two gives the audience direction using the disruption of the words on the image to lead the focus down to the wing symbol. All of the writing is in Emma's handwriting, making it copyright free and helps it follow on from the style of the handwritten interview. Option 3 was the option I suggested, as the words down diagonally gives focus, linking back to the rule of thirds. The word fall is in the centre, making it a focus point so the onlooker is more likely to stop, which will create more opportunities for people who are exposed to it to give attention, linking back to Hoffachner and his five stages of engagement and retention. However, in the end, Emma decided to go in a different direction due to timing constraints and her personal vision for the artwork and its connection to the song Make Me Fool. This was not the only hurdle in the project, posting regularly. Both of us had super busy lives, making it difficult to post regularly. To overcome this, another time, better scheduling of posts will be done perhaps days or weeks in advance. A type of marketing that we wanted to incorporate was guerrilla marketing. The initial idea was to create t-shirts and advertise MMA, include the symbol of the wings and create a hashtag. Then get a street team to go out and wear them and post on social medias using the hashtag. Again using street teams links back to Nina Nesbitt who empowered her fan base and sent out stickers for them to post all over the cities that they lived in. Airdrop is a form of pop-up, a new window opens up above a current window. The initial idea was to airdrop images and promo videos to people to improve their exposure of the artist. This could then lead to an emotional connection between the general public and the artist, which in the long run can create long-lasting fans. Issues we faced, it could have been seen as an invasion of privacy which is against the law and is laid out in the Human Rights Act of 1998. Sadly, these two ideas could not come to fruition. Between now and after the coronavirus outbreak, Emma will be posting regularly to keep her fan engagement up. The promo video.
This promo video joins all areas of the project together, the artwork for the release, the photo shoot, Emma's live performance, the interview and the Wings graphics. All of this is to create a clear image with the audience linking back to the critical success factors. Once it's on social media, it shows who Emma is. It gives a little bit of background using the interview and tells people all about the new up and coming release of Make You Throughout the project I kept my eyes on the data and posts have received between 70 and 80 likes. The two main social media sites we use were Instagram and Facebook. The prediction for followers on Facebook is a very difficult one as it is not the main social media site that Emma's fan base will interact with regularly. It is estimated that Emma will increase her followers by 10 every three months. Her percentage of engagement on Instagram is much higher at 26.6%. The prediction for Emma May's followers in the future is 284 and a 29% engagement. Thank you for listening.